but I am so lucky that I did get to that ginger Jordan with the girl's name. Good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome and thank you for joining Jordan and Ellie here today. Today we are all here in this beautiful venue together to celebrate love, a very special love between two very special people. He's getting ready. She's in the bathroom. Oh, it's got our engravement on. Dreams in the sand Remembering where we began To see this empty canvas The future and all that could be Shadows turning Who would have thought that me not thanking you for holding a door open would lead us to being stood here today? We've grown so much over the last seven years from partners to best friends and now husband and wife. I cannot imagine spending my life with anyone else but you. You truly bring out the best in me, push me to be the best version of myself every day and support me in many aspirations. Seven years ago you dropped me home after our first date. And I'd felt a feeling I've never felt before. It wasn't just the usual butterfly. It was a feeling of peace, a certainty in me that I knew you were the person I'd spend the rest of my life with. I promise to support you in anything and everything that you do. I promise to show up as the best version of myself each day as a husband to you and a father to Aria. I promise to make you feel special, loved and cherished every day. I promise to always laugh with you and sometimes at you. And when the days are hard, long, or simply boring, I promise to always appreciate that you're by my side. <laughs> Time I close my eyes, I'm dreaming 
When people talk about finding their person, I 100% found mine in Ellie. I see Ellie every day, her hunger to achieve, her commitment to myself and our family, and the love she shows to us. It fills me with so much pride that I can call that woman my wife. It gives me so much drive to continually to strive to make myself a better person for her and my family. Wonderful mum and partner, and then you'll be very happy together as husband and wife. I want to wish you both all the happiness in the world. George is a brilliant dad, and I'm sure that'll be a brilliant husband too. I'm sure everyone here today agrees that it's been a great pleasure to share this special day with you, and it's an absolute honour to be studied here as your best man. Every time I close my eyes, There was a time when I thought that this whole wedding was a ruse just so she could wind me up. There were that many stories flying around, but yeah, she's let me off all right. As I said, she's highly driven and whenever she's put her mind to something, she's always got it done. Whether that's cross country, hockey, dressing up as a Christmas pudding, <laughs> or now raising little Aria. So lucky that I did get to that ginger Jordan with the girl's name. You've continued to show up in more ways than I could ever imagine. Watching you become a dad has been one of the most precious moments of my life. I love watching you raise our little girl. Thank you for everything that you do. I look forward to spending the next 60 years as your wife, eating chocolate and waffles on a, on a sofa on a Saturday night with a 9 p.m. bedtime. Because that's what our dreams are made of. It's been seven years we've been together and watching Ellie from an 18 year old grow into a woman and then into a mother has been an incredible part of her. Her outlook to parenting and the way she sets out to raise Aria, I know that Aria is gonna become someone just as special and as successful as her mum. It's hard to imagine her as that 14 year old little girl stood at the wall with her ear to a glass <laughs> because I told her I'd seen a teenage boy walk in the house next door. She just sit there for 20 minutes before I told her that I was lying. <laughs> And she didn't always look like the beautiful blonde that she's a sire. Um, at one point she was changing her colour so much I thought she was wanted by the police. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Holly, Cupid, or my maid of honour, thank you for forcing Jordan to go on a date with me. <laughs> I'm so grateful for our friendship. I know we spent the last six of seven, of the last <coughs> seven years apart, um, but we've managed to show up for each other throughout the highs and all the lows. I got it all, I got it all with you. years old and I heard and my dad heard through the grapevine that I had a boyfriend so when two boys from my class came knocking at the door asking my dad if I was coming out to play he asked for their names Jack and Jordan and then he shut the door on them he called me downstairs and his exact words and I quote were two boys at the door asking if you're coming out to play they best not be your boyfriends as one of them's ginger and the other has a girl's name. <laughs>
sad sometimes, but we've always enjoyed each other's company and made each other laugh. And it's corny, but it's true that it's like being married to your best friend. And that's the secret, I think. And if you think, if you find that they're not your best friend anymore, you just need to fight with everything that you've got. Um, because if you do, it'll give you the best time of your life. And with that, I'd like to toast a happy couple. May your marriage be long, your argument short, and your happiness forever. Cheers. my mum and dad for putting their dream of owning a home on hold for us for another year to be with us today. I feel incredibly lucky to have the relationship that we do. Thank you for raising the most kind and considerate man, the person who wants for nothing but is grateful for everything. I know it's hard watching his biggest life moments through a screen, but we're so glad we get to share this moment with you today. strong personality and sense of humour and it takes a special guy to match and put up with both of them. And Jordan, I think you're up to both, mate. And I welcome you to our family with open arms. This is my wife and I could go on and on, but I could never truly put into words what she means to me. I will spend the rest of my life just trying to show her. I cannot wait to see what our future has in store and I could not wish to spend it with anybody else. A toast to my wife, Ellie. Now let's all have a wonderful day. says I'd like to raise a glass to Aileen Jordan and their next chapter as Mr and Mrs Stobart. All the best you too from the fluffy boat to bits and I wish you all happiness in the world. Mm -hmm.